Hi everybody, this is Josh from Pomeroy Creative. In this video, I'd like to show you using Google Slides for website design. Interesting idea. Well, I think that you'll see that this is actually a pretty great program to use for mocking up a website. And that's what I've done here. What we're looking at is sort of the landing page or home uh, page of a uh, website that I'm making for a client for a, a, a church that's being developed down in, in Florida. These are some friends of mine, also a, a client. So I, I want you to note that I'm using Google Slides to get actual work done. This isn't just a, uh, a project for my, my own personal use or just enjoyment or pastime. I'm trying to get my work done. And I'm finding that Google Slides is actually a great option for doing projects like this. So what I have here is uh, sort of a, a modern looking website. And the intention is that this would be a, a, a continuously scrolling website. So it's actually a single page that just scrolls through um, multiple sections that as you scroll through them, they, they're, they're meant to take up your entire your, uh, browser screen. Um, I'm sure you've seen sites like this before. Rather than having uh, multiple pages, they use anchors. So the navigation connects those anchors further down the page. And that's how this is intended to be set up. So the navigation up here has just been made with a primitive shape, a rectangle that I just click, drag it out, line it up, change the size and height if I want. I got rid of the uh, stroke, made a fill of white, and then I've used a, just a text box here and typed in the actual navigation items. And the Freedom Church here, this is a piece of word art. And then the logo here I've created in a, a Google Drawings, another Google Drawings document that I was working on, um, all the different uh, logos and icons and stuff. And I just copied and pasted it right in here, but that was created in uh, Google Drawings. And the F is just a, a piece of word art. And these are, there's a circle and one of the donut uh, smart objects or smart shapes. And I just put all of that into a group so that I could easily manage the, uh, the different pieces of this site. The background is just an image that I found by the insert image option. And which, by the way, if you ever see it like this and wonder where your um, menu items went, just click this double arrow here. And if you'd like to kind of give yourself a little bit more screen real estate, you can click that to hide the menu. But you still have access. This is actually just kind of a, a little power user tip, is you still have access to all of those menu items. Rather than clicking through drop-down menus and digging through drop-down menus, you can just type in a few letters here. So in this case, I want to insert a picture to show you where I found this picture. And as soon as I start just typing in a few characters, you see all the things that I can insert. So I'll insert an image, that's what I want. I'm just gonna click on that. I'm gonna go right over here to the search tab and I can type in, in this case, I was looking for just a stage or a concert. And that's what I did. This, this search is Google image, image results, but um, it says here, results shown are labeled for commercial reuse with modification. So this actually helps me choose images that won't get me in trouble for using them, which is a really great feature, very handy for designers like me who need to use stock photos, um, either just to show, a, a, like in this case, a mock-up to a, a client where the actual photos will be replaced at some point with uh, photos of, of the actual venue, et cetera. But this actually lets me use these, and I could publish these, uh, so maybe the client's happy with the images that I find, I can use them, and that's nice. Uh, so I've just inserted an image that way. And using the image options, I've made it um, slightly transparent, and I've played with the brightness and contrast just a bit. But making that transparent allows this background color, which is this really bright um, cyan color, to pop through. And to give you an example of how this can dramatically change, if I go to just right click anywhere, I can change the background color and say I'll make it this bright magenta. So this, this gives me a much different look on the home page just by changing that background color, which is actually really great and uh, it doesn't, it doesn't, you don't have to have tons of layer styles, drop shadow effects, all that kind of stuff to still create something that's uh, unique, custom, 
and, uh, and very professional looking. So I'm not going to take you through this whole thing, but um, I just want to show you how I have I've managed to create several different layouts and each slide I've used is basically a different page or for a scrolling site, a different section of this uh, of this website. And for instance, this could be a great place for quick links or um, also could be a, a good layout for uh, recent posts for a blogger or a, a portfolio section. And, um, and, and this basically just gives a, a visual representation of, of what that might look like on the actual uh, website once it is developed. There's no functionality in, the, in this yet, but I just wanted to create something that I could get feedback from the client, and it's working quite well. Now, um, to, to send this to my client, I can simply download it as a, as a PDF. And as you see here, I'm just typing in, uh, this search box up here, and I can say download as PDF document. And what's that gonna, what this is going to do is bind all of these slides or pages together into one PDF document that's easily shareable. I could also um, upload it and give my client a link, and they could um, navigate through it. And so I actually can open it up right here in the new tab in Chrome, and I'll just I'll show you how how effective this this is. If I go ahead and, and just expand this out to my full screen, I could send this link to my client, okay? And they could scroll through it just like um, they would be scrolling through the website. And so they see each section very, very closely um, of how it's actually intended to look once it's developed. So this has been working for me in a, in a really streamlined way of, of getting uh, website mockups done. And because it's in Google, these are extremely easy to edit, update. I can make a copy of it and continue working on it, um, making many, many changes. Um, the revision history in Google, all, all of Google um, Drive's apps is really fantastic. So you can always go back um, several days, several weeks throughout the whole lifetime of the project and pull something in that, that or, you know, find changes that you wanted to make. Uh, you can sort of reverse those things. Um, and you can also just copy um, make a copy of, of the entire presentation and do a whole other iteration in, a, in another presentation document. So again, trying to use uh, Google Drive's uh, applications to, 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 to really do things to get the job done. And Google Slides is great for me. I can, I can use it to create multi-page documents for print if I wanted to, say, create a, a newsletter, whether it's for my organization, business, school. You can create a school newsletter this way. Just set it up for 8.5 by 11. You can even give yourself some bleed and actually download a PDF, send it to a printer, have it printed. Or uh, just just create a, a a PDF document that you can then attach into an email and mass email your faculty or your students, and uh, and it's all bound together nicely into a nice multi-page PDF document. So this is not just for presentations, but the cool thing is because you can present this now, you can actually talk about it and share it with somebody in a really interactive and effective way. So there's. Uh, how I've been using uh, Google, Google Slides recently. Let's see what you can make with it. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'll see you in the next video.